All right, we're almost done with asymptotes. This has been um, a tough section, and but I hope it's starting to clear up for you. Um, this next one, as I mentioned, uh, because the degree in the top is exactly the same as the degree in the bottom, um, you take the ratio of the two leading coefficients, 2 to 1, and it's a horizontal asymptote. The oblique asymptote is when it's one larger. These are equal. Um, so uh, this is the, the second case of horizontal asymptote. If, if the degree in the top is smaller than the degree in the bottom, it's y equals 0. But if they're equal, if the deg two degrees are equal, then it's the ratio of those two coefficients. So that's why it was uh, y equals 2 divided by 1. Oops, sorry, I got off the page there. All right, now, uh, I know these graphs are a little small here, um, but uh, we can see that um, x gets left out of the domain here because you get a division by 0. That's bad. Um, the x-intercepts, now, we're, I hope you're starting to get that. That would be when uh, the numerator is 0. So x-intercept is when um, the, uh, the numerator is 0. And um, in, in this case, the numerator is 2x plus 1 equals 0. That's when x equals negative a half. Now, they want you to report it as an ordered pair. So what we're saying is at negative a half, this function is 0. All right. And uh, so sometimes there aren't any x-intercepts, so you've got to be careful of those. Um, now, is there a y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept would be when x equals 0. Um, so y-intercept um, is when x equals 0 question mark. Now for this function, when you plug a 0 into this function, you get a division by 0, which is bad, uh, undefined. So there is there is no y-intercept. So good example here. There's a vertical asymptote there. Um, it's a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, but not a y-intercept. OK. Great, that one was kind of different. Um, last few. Um, here we go. We're, we're getting a little bit better at this. The degree in the top is smaller than the bottom, and so you get y equals 0. Now, this one has some unusual vertical asymptotes. I want to talk about those. So what is the domain of f? Uh, now, let's think about the domain. We don't want to divide by 0, so we set that equal to 0, and you can see there's two problems, one at x equals 0 and one at minus 4. So we got to leave those out. We can't get 0. Um, uh, whoops, sorry. Uh, we don't want to have... Um, x equal to 0 or minus 4, because we get a division by 0 in the denominator. Now here's where it gets a little funny, and this is an unusual case, because we get a um, division by 0, but we also get a 0 in the numerator. Now vertical asymptotes, as I said earlier, are when the um, you get a constant divided by 0, where the numerator is not 0. And um, so in this situation, um, x equals 0 and x equals negative 4 are not both vertical asymptotes because x equals 0 causes a division by 0 with a 0 in the numerator as well. So this causes a hole in the graph, um, and we're, we're going to see that in when we put this in the calculator in just a second. There's only one vertical asymptote, that's x equals negative 4. And um, they uh, they actually gave us the x equals here, and um, so you got to be careful. Sometimes they want the equation, sometimes they want just the list. In this case, they just want uh, the list. There's only one of them, though. Now, the horizontal asymptote we already discussed is uh, y equals 0. Again, they don't want the equation this time. They already gave us y equals um, let's talk about the x-intercept. It looks like there's an x-intercept at x equals 0, but we get a division by 0. So there's no x-intercepts either, because there's a hole in the graph. Um, so x equals 0 um, is not um, an x-intercept this time around. Um, wow, so this this is a really unusual case. The y-intercept, um, there is um, no y-intercept either. Uh, the y-intercept would be when you plug in y, x equals 0. So no y-intercept, because it is undefined when x equals 0. 
All right. So really unusual case. Um, um, now we're going to pick out the graph. Um, so, but let's put it in the calculator. Um, the calculator will be really helpful to us. Uh, we have X divided by, um, clear all this out. X divided by X squared plus 4X. All right. Um, looks like a standard window would be a good place to start, um, but we will zoom in here to get the same um, graph as theirs. Um, now you can see there uh, our window. Um, let's come in. We're going to go negative 8 to positive 8 and negative 4 to positive 4. Just use the same window as what they have. Uh, here's our graph. You can see the vertical asymptote over there at negative 4. Notice there's not a vertical asymptote at 0. There's not like what you would expect to see with a division by 0 because there's a hole in the graph. If, in fact, if you turn on trace and type in 0, you can see how the y value is empty. There's a little hole in the graph right there. And um, you can actually see... Um, that little hole in um, part D. Um, a um, looks very similar to the graph, but it doesn't have a little hole. Um, so what I'm saying is right around that um, it's defined. It's just not at zero. It's undefined. So we indicate that with the hole. And um, it's not below the axis. It's above the axis. And so our choice is D because of the hole in the graph. And that is really tricky. Uh, the only way to kind of sort that out is to get really close uh, with your zero um, in fact let me uh, let me do that if you trace if you put something really close to zero but not zero exactly you can see kind of a a hole in the graph and um, which kind of gives you the same impression as as this one um, right there, that hole in the graph right there. So so D is our solution. That was a really tough one. Um, anyway, I hope this video has helped. I, I, I'm going to do one more uh, for the last problem. Um, but uh, thanks for